What's up, Mzanzi? Welcome to episode 336 of Farmers Inside Track. I'm your host, Octavius Pandil. Now, a productive, economical, and environmentally sound agricultural system is built on healthy soil. Understanding how management practices affect soil processes that support plant development and govern environmental quality. In this episode, Dr. Melvin Yati, Project Manager at the Agricultural Research Council, shares some information on how improved soil texture benefits the overall health of the soil. Dr. Melvin, welcome to Farmers Inside Track. I'm so excited to talk to you about improving soil texture as part of soil maintenance. How is soil texture defined? Well, in a simplistic definition, is soil texture will be the proportion of sand, silt, and clay content uh, because they play an important role in making the soil texture. And uh, the minimum, at least it should be maybe 40% sand, 40% silt, and 20% clay. You've just mentioned specifically sandy soils and clay soils. So what are the ways in which soil texture in sandy soils and clay soils can be improved. Sandy soils, sandy soils are, are more for us because if you think there's too much sand, the crops won't grow well. So one way to do that will be add organic matter into the soil, and then add it to improve the soil structure for sandy soils. On the soil texture, as say, on the other part, if the soil is too much clay, we need to do the opposite and incorporate uh, coarse material such as sand or grit. So both of those methods can improve soil texture. Can you maybe share some of those examples of what the benefits of improving soil texture? It's important because plants, they need water to grow. Let me put it like that. For example, like I say, if you have too much clay, you'll have a problem of infiltration. If you irrigate or it rain. If you have too much sand, you have a problem of losing water. So the control ocean of sand, clay, and silt, it's important for water holding capacity. So having a good soil texture, maintaining a good balance, that water is available to your plants. And it will also mold the nutrients very well so that the plants can grow well. How does animal manure and soil texture help the soil structure formation? Animal manure, it's one of the manure you can use to improve the soil organic matter. Like I mentioned before, the soil organic matter, if you add it into the soil, it will improve the soil texture. Other plants, other manures per se, some of the microorganisms which bind the soil structure together and, and improve it. Another importance about animal manure it also reduces the bulk density of the soil, meaning it reduces combustion. So if the if the soil is not compact or irrigated water will infiltrate the soil very well. Dr. Melvin, you've mentioned earlier that water is such an important component, but how does water play a role in soil maintenance? If you talk about maintenance, it's not a term I used in science. So. But uh, what usually happens with water, remember, soil formation happens through processes whereby the rocks uh, tear off, it takes a lot of years. But in terms of soil formation, the water will play a major role in tearing the rock bit by bit. And over time, it will move the soil to a flat place, because this usually happens in a mountain, which is good for growing crops. Water plays a major role in that, uh, in, in soil formation. In terms of uh, irrigate for crops to grow, it's important also because when the crop is stressed, the, it loses the stomach out, it can't breathe. In short, to be simplistic, it can't breathe. So it would reach a point which we call permanent wilting point. But if you irrigate and you have a good soil structure, the water is available, usually we irrigate to fill capacity. So if we irrigate to fill capacity, uh, the plants will breed very well through the process of photonosis and we are expecting good yields because it's not stressed. And finally, do farmers need to have a specific manager schedule 
to improve soil texture? And what does that schedule perhaps look like? Is there a specific way that they can manage it themselves? What is your advice around that for them to improve it? There are many strategies they can use. For example, the, the method you use to cultivate your, your, your soil. If you drill directly and practice minimal tillage, then full tillage, it improves the soil structure because it's not disturbed rather than the current farming we are doing. That's one way which they can use. The, the major problem with that is then the yields are not very good, but in short, it improves the soil structure. Previously, I mentioned that if you add organic matter to uncover crops on the soil texture or structure, because organic matter such as mulch, cow dung, animal manure, like we discussed before, ending that regularly when you plant, it will improve your soil structure. Another way which they can use when you practice crop rotation, let's say for the past three years you've been planting maize, uh, you need mainly to plant beans which add nitrogen in your soil which will improve your soil, soil health and also texture. And then you can come back to maize. So if you plant that very well, uh, it can also improve your soil texture. Last way which I would like to discuss when you practice agroforestry, a combination of crops and trees, if you use these trees at a site, it will improve your soil texture also. And nowadays, agriculture will also improve the lot through things like precision farming, which uses digitalized machinery with satellite. It will tell you which part, because in the field, the soil is not the same. Through precision farming, you can be able to know where do I need to add more organic matter and where do I not to need it, to add it. So in that way, it's one way you can improve your soil texture strength. Thanks so much, Dr. Melvin Nyati. For more on the topic, visit www.foodformzanzi.co.za. And this week, we celebrate Hashtag Soil Sister for Lady Shiloni. Ipitoma's passion and purpose is definitely her name. Her farming journey champions community empowerment and sustainable progress, challenging stereotypes through innovative agribusiness. Farming has been associated with the Africans, especially because primary agriculture, so working in the field. That's why I'm passionate about doing processing and value-added agriculture. I think we need to highlight that agriculture is not just working in the sun, there's other parts of the value chain. Logistics, marketing, tech now interested things, science, there's a lot. So I think it's important for us just to show the other people with those stereotypes or mindset that it's not just about having a hoe and digging in the soil, but much bigger things out there in agriculture. The lady is one of the phenomenal women selected to participate in the 2023 Hashtag Soil Sister program. Catch a full interview on www.foodformzanzi.co.za and on Foodform Zanzi's YouTube channel. And that's a wrap. Remember to subscribe to our podcast on your favorite platform. From me, Octavius Pandil, our technical producer, Megan van der Feind, and the rest of the hashtag Food from Zanzi. Thanks for listening. Life in South Africa can be a lot. I mean, scroll through Twitter for a minute and tell me I'm wrong. Thank God for South Africans though, right? We're inspiring and even on the bad days, we fight back with a smile. That's why I love Food from Zanzi so much. They're not ashamed to celebrate the ordinary unsung heroes who work every day to put food on our nation's tables. Go to foodformzanzi.co.za and never miss an inspiring story.